and we are underway. Smith goes back to Russ in an Under Armour this afternoon, so firmly headed away from Hines. Out forward towards Greenwich, as a slip from Parcel. Greenwich is away down the right, he's got no support in the middle at the moment, he needs to take a touch or two to get into a shooting position, his shot is blocked from Batten. Follow-up shot is drilled all the way across goal and it goes harmlessly wide. Overlapping run of Turner, now Wagstaff's carried on down the right, go away from Greensade, he should keep it in near the byline, Wagstaff pulls it back and Parcel does enough to get it away, finds his former Chippenham teammate Greensade, who does keep it in play, but more detriment to Bath City because Turner has kept it near the byline, gets in a decent ball towards Greenwich and he manages to flick it, but he flicks it wide at the near post. Guard has left uh, near the corner of the penalty area with Smith in close attention, otherwise it's a pretty packed penalty box which is dinked well towards the head of Fielding into the back of the net. Bad marking from Bar City. Jamie Fielding slides on his knees to celebrate the opening goal in this contest. It looked all too easy. It was a well-placed header from Fielding, so sort of headed it back from where it came from. His first goal here for just over a year, second of the season. Eight minutes, Tunbridge Angels won, Bar City nil. Already beaten this afternoon, pretty helpless with a header. High loopy one, no clean sheets now in the last six for Ollie Wright. Greenslade ventures forward down the left, up to Wilson, he gets it, gets it under control to Cook. Now it's a Hayfield on the edge of the box and he is hit the inside of the post and it stayed out. God, it looked destined for the bottom corner. He hit it so sweetly, Hayfield, who scored here last year at the other end with Shields. Brings the ball under his spell. Left-footed ball is a good one towards Greenwich. Flying header away from Batten, only to guard at the edge of the box. He's urged to shoot and does shoot and it's completely blocked. To Greenslade on the left-hand side. Now further wide to Clark. Right-footed. Well, normally plays on the right side, I should say, Clark. He's got it under his left foot. There's a good ball into the middle towards Hayfield, being to it from Hines. Ball's deflected back forward from Wilson. Couldn't make it in. Cook with a shot, and it's saved from Henley. Too close to him, but Bar City are threatening here. Nobs it out to Turner on the right. He's now got Fish with it near the byline. Fish's got players in the middle. He's played it behind everybody. He's going to come out now to guard who shoots. Takes deflection off Smith, and uh, Greenwich can't go for it. He would have been offside. Just touches it to Batten. The lengthy ball forward. Fielding should get there before Cook. Oh, he's missed it. It's now a chance for Wilson. He's offside. Well, the argument might be that the touch came off a Tunbridge player. It was to me, Wilson was stood in an offside position. I think that's what the City players are arguing. The assistant put his flag up. The referee is better placed to say who the touch came off. He's not listening to any arguments. The goal is chalked off. Tunbridge get back on with it and Shields now adventuring forward, he's got away from Reigns, who's kept up with him and gets a toe in well, does Reigns. The reverse ball's not a bad one to Reigns, but his ball inside not the best for Cook, who is beaten to it from Parkinson, but now Hayfield's onto the loose one. Clark's in room on the left-hand side, he likes to use him. City got three men in the box for Clark, who gets it in there, it's a header, it's in! Cody Cook gets the final touch, there's no flag up this time. The ball was deflected out to it, and he poked it in from Reigns, six yards out. Bar City have been probing and probing and they get their reward in the 27th minute. It's Tunbridge Angels 1, Bar City 1. There was a touch in the middle and uh, Cook, sort of Johnny on the spot really. And he makes it 1-1. Manny scored his first away goal here. Has scored his latest one here in Kent. I'm sure they'll want to utilise more. It's where most of their pace is. But Shields ball that time is uh, a waste. As, oh, Haven nearly got Cook away, so with ball with the outside of his foot, couldn't find him. Now Tunbridge can get an attack going on their own, with Turner on the right. Received off Pegram, still Turner onto his favoured left foot. Ball takes deflection on the way through, and it just goes wide. It took a nick off a Tunbridge leg, and might have clipped the back of his heel. That could have been difficult for the uh, Roman stopper. He's grateful to see it go past his post. Now with Parcel, 1-1. One, one. As Wilson shrugged off Barnes and he's gone for goal and he has scored! From 20 yards, span off his man. Goalkeeper was around 10 yards off his line. Wilson said, I'll have some of that. Knocks it over the top of him. 
and Bar City have turned this game around in quick time. 31 minutes, Tunbridge Angels one, Bar City two, an exquisite finish from Super Scotty Wilson. That's his 26th goal in 2023. Uh, good experience play from Parkinson. And Greenwich knocks in behind a fish on the left. City retreating. Fish running at Russ. Got the other side of him brilliantly intercepted from Russ. Now to Pegram on the right. Running against his opposite number 10, Smith. He's played at Turner near the edge of the box. Squares it to Shields and uh, save from Ollie Wright. He's going to take this corner on the right. A floated one towards the back post where Parkinson had a good hold of Haverhood's shirt. Shot from guard, it's somehow saved, and the follow-up is saved as well. And it's been forced in. The referee says there was no foul in there. Guard's persistence eventually pays off. Oh, hang on, no, it's being chalked off. The re real confusion here. City went and restarted with a free kick. The Tunbridge players had run off and celebrated. There needs to be a real clearance of what happened. Ollie Wright is dying, he's hurt his arm. He made two fine saves. We are back underway. Back to fielding. Over to the left-hand side to Shields, who cuts inside. Hines, an overlap to the left. He's got the ball now, Hines. Cutting in near the edge of the box. He's going to be urged to shoot because there's no recognised keeper. He does shoot and he blazes it almost like the grind. Plays it back to Hines in the edge of the box. Hines plays it into Pegram. And then he found Greenwich. Hines got in his way. It's now Shields inside the penalty area, trying to get a shot away. Two men trying to stop the shot. Does call it. It's, it's close to range. He does enough to block and then somehow gets there just before Greenwich. Tumbridge with a lot of possession, as you'd expect early in the second half. Shields cuts inside. Plays it in behind now to Pegram. Left footed shot just wide. Jerry Gill very often fielded a substitute goalkeeper, so it's typical that uh, they then get an injury and he's not available. It's a free kick on halfway. Clark was clattered into. Hines, I think, is the perpetrator. No card, though, from referee Robinson. Fisher's made a sort of ambling run forward. Granger's turned the other side of Parcel near the byline and is fouled. Referee plays advantage to the edge of the box. Pegram's shot is charged on Smith find fishing room down the right, should keep it in play on the right hand side, Greenside's gone across to try and block any ball in, he's into the near post and Reigns gobbles it up really well. Nice shields, right footed ball is a dangerous one towards Greenwich and again Reigns is tremendously quick off his line. Turner to Wagstaff on the right hand side, knocks it onto Pegram in the attacking third, fizzes a ball across, it just misses a man in the middle and in the end, it's gone all the way back to Turner on the right hand side. Gets another ball in, Button helps it away. I thought he was far from Greenwich. Perhaps should have got a killer touch. Ball's played back from Shields. Now it's a curling effort from Hines, and it goes just wide with Joe Reigns' left post. A little bit profligate in the final third. They don't want to be here though with Guard, who's playing Wagstaff in room near the corner of the penalty. Yeah, slides it onto Turner. This is a good chance and slide in from Thomas, and the referee says it's a handball. Thomas. Slid down the floor, the referee must have thought that it was an intended arm in the air. Well, it's whether it was a reflex action really from Thomas. He was about five yards from the ball. I couldn't tell from there whether his arm was raised or not. Referee blows his whistle, guard steps up, shoots. Oh, it's just about gone in. Reigns got a hand on it, diving to his right hand side. He couldn't keep it out. Desperately unfortunate for the standing stopper. Glee for Tunbridge Angels in the 69th minute. Tunbridge 2, Bar City 2. Oh, he got a hand on it. I mean, any goalkeeper would have been happy with that. Plenty of talking points. Reigns has got it. Uh, sorry, Reigns. Russ has got it. Reigns has got it. He really would be out of position. Now Thomas on the left-hand side. Moves inside of Mampolo with ease. Near the edge of the box. Still going Thomas. Near the byline. Flashes it across. Wilson is blocked from Parkinson. Henley had initially spilt across into him. Now just to find him. The ball is slightly behind him from Shields. That's a better ball towards Shields. And ranges off his line and clears it. Just outside his box. That's what you need for a standing keeper, really. Or any goalkeeper. Up to Thomas, the half-time substitute. He's got Wilson up in front of him. 
gone in between them all. Still Thomas, he's trying to get through and good covering. And yeah, there was a foul initially. Showed sterling balance there, Thomas. Clark whips it towards the back post. The header pass Sal, he's just beaten to it from Turner. He's got to the loose ball first though, pass Sal wide right out to Cook. Sins in a difficult ball for the keeper and he was facing his own goal and he had to bat it behind. A no, good game this afternoon, Russ, to Thomas. Oh, he's running the trouble now. Guard can try and lead Tumbridge forward at the moment. It's four on four. Guard, he's got Shields to his left. The ball's a bit slow behind him. Wagstaff's gone down off the ball. Still Shields working his way towards the byline. Plays it across and well held from Reigns at his near post. There's no doubt who Bowser is one of the matches this afternoon. The referee's got to stop the game. Reigns had rolled out to Smith and Wagstaff had gone down off the ball. This is out in the air, but it's one for Pegram over to the left hand side. Turner might be on side. He's got the ball in now on the left hand side in the penalty area. Plays it back. Couldn't find Greenwich. He came sliding in late. He failed to connect. Tumbridge still in possession though. City haven't cleared. Turner curls it. And Reigns, the first time he's looked uncomfortable really in goal, diving to his left hand side, has to bat it behind for a corner. It's still a short option, but Russ is there to keep an eye on him. Chips it, predictably. Referee points to the penalty spot, I think he has. There was holding in there on fielding. And the referee says that it was enough of an offence to point to the spot. He was well placed. I'm not sure who committed the foul. It might have been Parcel. But this man in the middle is not someone to mess with. He was unimpressed. Parcel gets a talking to. He's going to get a caution. Can he produce a miracle? Guard steps up. He steps up. Scores. He goes down the middle again. I think Reigns got a hand on it. And Tunbridge Angels look like they have snatched all three points. It's all gone against the Romans in the second half. 90th minute, Tunbridge 3, Barsi 2. They need to get the ball in the middle as soon as possible, City. There's five minutes of added time are up. They've gone backwards again. And that's it, time's up. Bar City are defeated at Tunbridge Angels.